Hello friends, this is Sidhan Kumar Nanda and today we are going to discuss a topic called normal ordered product. It's a normal order product. As you can see, the topic is uh, something about product and ordering of product and it is a normal ordered product as its name is given to it. The normal ordered product is uh, nothing but uh, rearranging of factors in the product. Okay. How the products are rearranged? This is nothing but rearrangement of factors in the product. So how they are arranged? They are arranged in such a way that the creation operator will take a left to that of the annihilation operator or in other simpler way or in operator form or quantum mechanical form or field form we can say that the operator with negative energy will lie left to that of the operator with positive energy in that way we will order the product or factors of the product okay according to that definition we can proceed as like uh, this is the operation n of uh, phi of x let's suppose and that will be equal to normal product of phi of x and this is nothing but equal to phi of x and this phi of x can have both positive term and negative energy term then I can write the negative energy term first then the Okay, and this is for first term. Okay, and similarly, now this is equation one. Okay, similarly, I can proceed as uh, here. I have only x term. I can take two terms: one for x, one for y, like this. Uh, let this be normal order product of uh, phi of plus x phi of plus y and two terms and both are plus then in this case I have to do nothing since uh, normal product product is invariant under the product so I can write it like this as phi of x But in case one is negative term, negative energy term, and other is positive energy term, then that will be like this: negative energy term of x and negative energy term of and positive energy term of y. Okay. Now, uh, after normal ordering. As I said, the negative energy term will be first and then followed by the positive energy term. I can write it like phi of minus of x phi of x. It was initially also in order. Likewise, if I have phi of plus x and then that of minus y, in that case, that will be ordered huh? minus y. Then I can arrange it. See, as we said, the minus term or negative energy term will be first followed by the positive energy term. So my answer will be phi of uh, this is minus of y and 
좋아요. 좋아서. 오케이. If both the terms they have negative sign, then I can write it like this. That is n of phi of minus n, phi of minus y. That will be normal order product of phi of minus of x, phi of minus of y. Then both the terms are negative energies. That so need not to be worried about. This has to be taken first. So I can write it and just like this. This is fine. Okay. So this shows that the the order of the factors inside the normal order uh, normal order product is meaningless. That that is not that important. Whether I have ordered in any way, that will be arranged according to the negative energy will be first and then the positive energy. This can also be defined for terms like uh, <coughs> like this as uh, phi of uh, this, this is a normal order product of phi of x and phi of y. So I have not taken uh, the plus or minus sign. So this will be phi of uh, normal order product of phi of x. And that is phi of y. So this phi of x must has positive energy as well as negative energy term. Uh, moreover, this phi of y has also positive and negative energy term. So I can write it like uh, <coughs> phi of uh, plus x, sorry, minus x, plus phi of plus x into phi of minus y plus so, so this is plus this is, this is minus this is plus this is minus y okay. I will multiply one by that will be an order this will be multiplied as by the condition, this will be multiplied with this and this, this will be multiplied with both of these. Again, so I can write it and plus x phi of plus y first term. This will be multiplied by this term again plus x of minus y. Plus I of minus x phi of plus y plus I of minus x phi of plus y. Okay. So now uh, I can arrange them like right? this one, both are plus. So in case both are plus, you need not to worry about the order. Of plus x, plus y, plus. Here the minus term will, will be a forward. So this is phi of minus of y, phi of plus of x, plus. Here already the minus term is added. So I can write phi of minus of x, phi of minus of y, and finally the last one, both are minus, so we can write So this is why this is my expression for this. The stuff can be written as this is equal to p or two. So in this way. I can express the product of uh, phi of x and phi of y in terms of their positive energy and negative energy terms. Okay. So this also shows 
if I am going to write this for uh, vacuum expectation wind, then I can write it like uh, I mean, x of phi of plus of x vacuum expectation wind becomes zero, and that is also for the phi of uh, this was that the vacuum expectation value for uh, normal order term vanishes. Why vanishes? Because within the vacuum there is no particle. When there is no particle, there is no trivial quantum number. Hence, we can vanish the normal order product for uh, vacuum expectation value. Okay. That is, uh, we can express this as the vacuum expectation value of normal order product of phi of x and phi of y is equal to I will write that four terms which I have find for normal order product this in equation 2 or 3 whatever that will be vacuum expectation value for uh, phi plus of x plus of y plus phi minus of y phi minus of plus of x plus phi uh, minus of uh, x y plus of y plus phi minus of x phi minus of y so that will be And this value is nothing but 0. Okay. In this way, we can conclude that the vacuum expectation value for normal order product is nothing but 0. This has greater utility and using this normal order product, we can calculate easily the S matrix or the components of S matrix. This is all about normal order product. I hope you like this. If you like this, please share.